Okay, now that I have my design all done, I have my heddles made, um, we're ready to start in the project. So first off, we're gonna be cutting this out. And I have these cut out and I wanna tape them onto here so as a reminder of how I need to be able to create this project. So I'm just gonna use clear tape and tape this down. Now I have that done, you can see it on there. So the, remember the ones with the dots on there are gonna be the ones that have to have heddles. So when I start stringing this, then I know when I need to do that. Um, so what I like to do is make sure that you don't have this entire thing covered in tape, but just a little bit on the bottom is that you can check off every time you did one, or you can just remember when you count. So I know that on this first one, I have, um, if you can see that, my head's not in the way. Um, I can see that I have a, a black, 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 black. So I have five blacks. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of these yardsticks and for every black that you have, you're going to be stringing this all the way up, wrapping it around, bringing this back down again. And that is basically one pass, you know, for this. So I need to wrap, um, so I need to get my, my yarn out and then I need to wrap this uh, here 10 times because I have five on here. Now this is, it's not exact. So I would, after wrapping it, I would, I would give yourself a little bit of extra um, on there just to be on the safe side because it's really close to two. It's just a little bit over. Um, so just get that done. So I'm gonna get this uh, all wrapped up and then, and then come back. So that was one right there. So you kind of saw that I went down, came back up, back up again, and I need to do that five more times. So I wrapped this 10 times. So that was one. Two. Three. Four. Okay, there's my five, and like I said, I want to give myself a little bit of extra um, on this because I, because I'm going to be using because it's just not a perfect thing; it just it kind of just works. Try not to get this all knotted up. I'm going to pull out some masking tape. In the first part on here, um, you're going to uh, tape, be taping down. So let me find one of my ends. Here's one. I'm gonna come off all the way on this end. You can already kind of see tape on here, possibly from somebody using it before, is you're gonna give yourself um, I don't know, about six inches or so. And then we're gonna tape this down. So this will be the end. We'll deal with this when we're all done with the project. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna start wrapping this and your first, one is gonna have a heddle on it. And I'll explain here what that means. But I might take this, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kind of push this back. I'm gonna go over number one. Number two, I'm gonna bring this around, go underneath three, and then six. You're gonna pull this all the way down. And you, you don't want this like really loose, but you don't want it like really tight either. So you wanna, you just wanna have it taunt. Um, so, which is, which is not, you know, again, which is not like super tight, but it's also not loose. Then I come around this end over here and you wanna make sure that this pin, um, cause we'll be loosening and tightening it as we go along with it, should be in the middle. And I'm gonna wrap this about, about three times. And you'll do that sometimes to kind of set it up so we can get to the next part. But I know this right here is gonna be a heddle. So I'm gonna take this, grab one of my heddles. So I have one of my heddles right here. Give it a little bit of tight, make sure it's nice and good. And then you go to lunch, no, sorry. Um, and then I'm gonna take this, now my knot's down below. So I'm gonna use this peg that I don't have a number on it, otherwise it might be seven later on. And I'm gonna go behind the strand right here and I'm gonna pull this down. And then that's my first heddle. 
This is where if you want to, you can take a pen and you can kind of cross off on here what you just did. So I can put a little check there if I want to, or a little mark and kind of just see that. Um, that's my first one. Now my next one doesn't have a dot above it, so it's gonna be a non-heddle. So I'm gonna undo the strand um, on this side. It's still gonna go over this. And I go up this time, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go underneath this pin, so I go under the number one, because it's gonna be a non-heddle. And then the same pattern. So two, three, I'm stepping on my yarn right now. Um, underneath six right here. I go underneath that pin right here. I'm just gonna wrap this for a minute. So I wanna kind of show you some things. So this is still kind of, you know, kind of tight. All of these should also be pushed um, as far back as you can go. Okay, so that was my second one. So I have one, now I have two. So my next one's gonna be a heddle. So I'm gonna take this, go over, go over the one, because remember it's gonna be a heddle, we're gonna be adding this on here in a second. Do my same pattern. Just kind of wrap that here so it can hold it for me. Okay, one of my heddles. Again, the knot is underneath this peg. So the knot is underneath the peg right there. This goes over, got a little lint there. This goes over that strand brings this back down again, goes over that. You can push all that to the side if you want to. Um, and I just got my third strand down. And you can also count one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's either way and you wanna do that. I'm gonna do a non-heddle. So this time, since it's a non-heddle, do I go above this or do I go below it? Good, you go below it. Same pattern. Next one's gonna be heddle. I don't need to wrap this around because I can just keep going with it. Again, keeping this you know, kind of tight, not super tight. I can wrap this. And if you're at the end, you just don't have a lot of room to wrap this around, you can just grab some tape just to hold that in place for yourself for just a little bit because I'm gonna grab my heddle. Again, keep it up like this. Remember that notch should be underneath there. Pull this around and that keeps that in place. So now I have one, two, three, four, and then five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm good. Now I'm gonna be switching to my red because that's what's on my, my, my thing right here. I definitely have enough to, to, to turn, so that extra that I put on is very, 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 very important. Otherwise, you have to take all this off, and we never throw yarn away because we use it for another project in sculpture class, okay? So if you, if you miss wrap it, you know, unfortunately, you're just kind of wasting some time, but, but don't waste the, don't make it worse and waste the thread. So now I'm gonna grab my red so I can put that on. Okay, so I have my red. And this time I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna take my yardstick and I'm gonna wrap that, you know, six times back to back or wrap it 12 times, you know, however you wanna count it. And again, give me myself that extra. So give me a minute. So now I have my yarn that's six, I wrapped it six times, you know, so over, under, one, um, kind of like what we did with the hemp project. So now I need to tie this and I wanna keep the knot, um, I wanna keep my lats all lined up. Um, so I'm gonna keep my knobs again around this bar right here. So I'm gonna untie this, because we're switching colors now. And just double checking, my switch does come at a non-heddle, so it doesn't have a dot above it. And just looking at my pattern here, so I'm doing well, you know, with it. I'm gonna take this strand, I'm just gonna do a regular um, knot, I'll turn this around so maybe you can see a little better. I'm gonna cut some of this excess off to make it easier to tie this knot. So 
So my knot's gonna be right here. I'm gonna try to always keep my knots here then, okay? Because we're gonna end up cutting all these off at some point. Now you have all this extra right here. I'm gonna pull this nice and tight um, so I can go through and just trim off this excess. So you don't wanna have those tails all over the place. So I have maybe about an inch standing out, okay? Now I'm gonna start doing my red. So again, my first one's a non-heddle. I'm gonna switch over to a time elapse so you can just kind of see me kind of wrap this up. Okay, now that I have that section done, I'm just gonna double check. I have, I should have one, two, three, four, five, six reds. So I have one, one, two, three, four, five, six reds. So I'm good because now I'm gonna switch to my white. So I'm gonna grab another color. I'm gonna, I see that my knot's up here. I'm sorry, I see that my knot's over here. So I'm gonna do my best job to line that up. You know, you're not gonna get it perfect, but try to stay within, you know, a two or three inch area uh, with that. And then I'm gonna switch over to red. Now, if you did notice, um, I did run into an issue with this knotting up when I had that many strands. So what you might wanna do is you might wanna make like a small ball of yarn um, when you get something like, like three, four, five, six, you know, strands long, you know, cause so, so just so you don't have it uh, knotted up. So I'm gonna, again, just kind of switch this over time lapse. I'm gonna see if I can just finish this whole thing and then we can go to the next step. Thanks. And now I have my um, loom all, all wrapped. Um, remember, this is a 41 thread. Um, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 heddles that are there. So you should have extra heddles left over. Um, so if, if these break, hopefully they don't. But if they do, I'll, I'll, I'll video on that how to fix it. So this is all set. Um, you know, you can kind of look down the line here. You can kind of start seeing how it's coming together. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, bringing these together. So the way that we end it is we're gonna take the strand right here. Um, Cause you remember you have a heddle on one side, heddle on the other side. And I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to tie it onto this strand right here. So I'm gonna take these two together and just tie it. And they're just gonna kind of sit across from each other. A lot easier to tie things when you don't have a ton of extra. So I just have enough room. Again, trying to keep these relatively tight. And there'll be, there always will be just a little bit of overlap because you're doing one side to the other side. Um, and now, um, now we're gonna be moving into the next part, uh, which we'll talk about the shuttle. Um, and how you can start getting this the rest of the sun. But um, good luck on that. Hopefully it makes sense. And let me, just let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.